guys, welcome to my channel, Amongst Doubts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four kiddos, and in today's video, I want to share with you all the books that we have for fall, as well as all of the activity packets um, that in unit studies that I purchased. Um, these are all just digitals. So I will be sure to um, put the link to where I picked up the digitals from, as well as um, I will link to all of the books that I have purchased um, that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video. So I just want to start off by saying um, doing a lot of these printable fall activities is actually coming in super handy for us this year. Um, we did it last year as well, but not, we just did a few um, here and there and it just added some fall read alouds to our day and that was kind of what we did we still did all of our main work however this year is a little bit different as you guys can see over there we are packing up because we are getting ready to move out of our house and then soon after and then soon moving into our new house but that isn't until after thanksgiving so um one we're packing up getting ready to move and then two we're going to be kind of um hanging out in Airbnb and then doing some traveling for two weeks before we settle down and are able to move into our house. So with that being said, um, doing our normal routine and all of our curriculum just isn't going to be an option because a lot of our stuff is getting packed up. I am super thankful that I have those homeschool containers because um, that's where I'm going to be keeping all the kids curriculum that we're keeping out. I will share more about that in another video. If you guys are interested in a like how I'm holding on to curriculum, what all we are keeping and how this is all going to work in the middle of our move, um, just let me know down in the comments because I um, was already planning on filming that, but if you guys are interested, that would be nice to know. <laughs> um, so yes, let's go ahead and talk about some of these um, unit studies and activities that I picked up. So this stack here are two different volumes of fall um, unit studies activities that I got from Home and Haven. And so I'll just share those with you. Um, you get these as a, when you purchase these, you get them as um, PDF files in your like Google Drive. But I just went ahead and printed off each page of all of these so I could just make copies of whatever it is that my kids are wanting to do. And then also once we um, move, I'm not gonna have access to my printer. So I wanted to have uh, at least one copy because there's some work in here that only my seven year old can do. And so knowing that I'm able to just give her those pages. And then um, if I don't make copies before we leave, then having at least a full set of these, my other two kids can at least use them as guides and write in their own journals or whatever that is. So I have the moon unit here and you'll see a theme of the ones that I'm actually like planning on doing with my kids all the way through this year because I got matching books. So we have the moon. I have a packet of pumpkin activities. We are going to do the full apple unit all together, so I have that one. Um, as well as the leaves unit, we're going to all do that together, so I have this here. Um, my two older kids want to do some of the candy corn activities, so I have that printed out here for them. This is a candy corn unit. And then later on in November, um, we are going to be doing the turkey unit all together. So again, these are all printable units, activity pages that I got from Home and Haven. Um, I did get them when they were on sale. I'm pretty sure they're still available, but you're not going to get them at the same sale price that I did. But I will link to it down um, in the description box for you guys. The next thing that I purchased and printed out that I'm super excited about is I went ahead and got the Gentle and Classical Autumn unit study. And I also did purchase the um, Gentle and Classical Christmas unit study as well. Um, Autumn unit study has four units in it. Um, each unit is supposed to take you two weeks to do. Since we're already in October, I don't think that um, we are going to be doing two, like both weeks for each unit. I think we're going to do a unit per week. 
um, or just however it ends up working out for us, that's what we're gonna do. And so this here that I have printed out, it's not supposed to have this black box here. So I um, didn't know that at first and when I printed it, I didn't change the settings or whatever it was. I ended up figuring it out and I got all the rest of the pages printed out right. But this did not and I wasn't gonna worry about reprinting it. But this here is the guide. I haven't um, bound it yet or anything. I gotta get that done. And then the last page here will have your whole schedule for you here. And it kind of just tells you what you're going to be doing. Um, so you have your core read alouds, your dailies, your nature um, reading for primary, or your nature reading here, primary, your nature reading nonfiction, history reading primary, history reading nonfiction, um, all of the available handicrafts for each week, the artist study for each week, and then copy work, which is scripture, history memory statement, nature memory statement, virtue definition, and that virtue definition is on the last two as well. So um, the guide just kind of has all of the information in it that you need, like all of the books that you will need to pick up. You definitely need the core read alouds and then your um, core history books and then your nature reader core books. And then she also gives you um, bonus books over here so if you can't get any of these other core books if they're not available um, then these are alternative books that you can get for the unit and then um, here is the schedule here on the calendar this one is for October it's really hard to see I'm sorry guys there it goes so as you can see here it'll tell you like unit one and unit two for those two weeks. And then in November is where you have um, units three and four. And then as soon as you go further into the guide, you will get to your um, unit portion. Okay, so here it'll have all of your unit one information. And if you have seen my flip through of the preschool, gentle and classical, it's kind of set up just like that. So it tells you your unit one and then it has the books that you're going to be reading, your history reader and your nature it has your history reader or it tells you what your history is, which is Native Americans, then your nature focus, which is changing leaves. And then here it just has you have two different levels. So here's your level one history, nature, and then level two history, nature, and then you have your scripture, virtue and poem. So uh, with my second grader, I'll be doing like I'll tell her the level one stuff here. And then with my older two kiddos, even though this is meant to go to fourth grade, I'm still including my son, even though he's a sixth grader. Um, and I'll just do it with, I'll just have him and his sister do the level two. So there's that. And then um, it talks about even more bonus books that you can get, as well as um, more ideas of what you can do there. And then it'll have all of your instructions for your handicraft. So that is everything that you can find in the um, guide for the Gentle Classical Autumn. And then I went ahead also, because we are um, not going to have access to our printer, I went ahead and printed off all of the um, Autumn printables. And I don't know that my kids will do, they're not going to do this whole stack, but I just wanted to have everything available for what they are going to do. And you know, we also needed the copy work and we needed the um, scripture memory statements and things like that. So I went ahead and got all of that there. And just like with the Home and Haven printables, I will link to the Gentle Classical Autumn Study and just check around on her website. You'll be able to find the Christmas study on there as well if you guys are gonna be possibly interested in that. So now that we have those unit cities and printables out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the books that I have um, for our fall read alouds. These books all go with something. So they are either core books for gentle and classical, or they're books that are recommended that are on Home and Haven's recommended list for um, some of those unit cities. I didn't buy every book, I only bought, I think one or two books per, like from the recommended list. I believe and I just have this nice big box here so the first book that I have and this this is the only one that didn't go to anything um, but I saw it and I was like oh that's it's a really cute book I want to get this and read it to my kids so this is goodbye summer hello autumn and then we have um, pilgrim stories this goes with gentle classical so does this one and it is winter is coming 
And then I have Hawatha and the Peacemaker. And then we have Why Do Leaves Change Color? This will be a part of our leaf activities, as well as Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. And um, this one was kind of a impulse purchase because it ended up being recommended to me. And I really like Max Lucado's books, um, especially his children books. So this doesn't actually go with anything, but I, I thought it was cute and I wanted it. So this is The Oak Inside the Acorn, and it's the Mac, one of the Max Lucado books. And this goes with the apple unit, and it's how to make an apple pie and see the world. And then we have pumpkin soup. We have encounter. So I'm not really sure what this book is about, but it was on the reading list. So we have this one. <laughs> And then this goes with our pumpkin unit. And this is Too Many Pumpkins. And then we have Johnny Appleseed. Strega Nona's Harvest. This is one of the core books for Gentle Classical. It's The Year at Maple Hill Farm. And then so is this one. It's Three Young Pilgrims. And then we have Children of the Longhouse. And then How to Catch a Turkey. And The Barber Who Wanted to Pray by R.C. Sproul. I also really, really, really love and enjoy R.C. Sproul books. Um, the adult books and the children's books that he have are really good. So that's all I have um, as far as books go. It's actually quite a bit. So those are going to be um, books that I keep out with us, probably in that box just hanging out in my car <laughs> um, until we move. And then, the, it, and then they'll just hang out in that box wherever we go and we can get from them. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing all of the books that we have available to us during the fall season this year and all of the upcoming holidays and fun unit studies and activities that we are going to be doing this fall. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.